Hey guys, Swish up here with an in-depth champion guide for Jungle Rek'Sai. I understand that as a new champion, some of you may not fully understand what's going on with Rek'Sai, what her abilities do or what she does, and if that's the case, then I suggest you watch the champion spotlight first. I'll put a link to that in the description. What we're going to focus on here is more of the in-depth stuff about her playstyles and stuff like that. Basically, how to play Rek'Sai jungle to her fullest capabilities. There will be different sections in this video as well, so if you want to skip to a certain part, then check in the description for the relevant timestamps. Rek'Sai is a very unique champion. She is a good sustained damage bruiser with the ability to disrupt quite heavily in teamfights. Her biggest drawbacks as a champion, however, is that she really does lag any form of decent utility and reliable CC. For your runes, I would recommend taking attack speed reds, armor yellows, 3 MR blues and 6 CDR blues, and attack speed quints. Alternatively, you can take attack speed reds and AD quints, or you can just go for a full AD page. For me, these rune page setups are the best ones to help you through the jungle early and to set you up for the mid and late game. For masteries, I like to go for a typical 21-9-0. This gives you quite a lot of offensive upsides, and for bruisers like Rek'Sai, it makes you pretty bloody scary. For skill order, you'll always want to max your Q, getting your ultimate wherever possible. And once you max second, whether that's your W, your E, or a mixture of those two, it's kind of up to you, but I personally like to max my W second because that gives me more burst AoE damage when I'm coming up from my burrow. Your item build on Rek'Sai is where things Things start getting a little bit interesting. There are quite a few decisions you can make that will reflect on your personal preferences and your playstyle. Overall, your build will want to be focused towards an off tank archetype. Now, what that means is I like to get my jungle enchantment plus one damage item and then go full tank. The first decision you're going to have to make is with your machete jungle upgrade, whether you go Ranger's Trailblazer or Stalker's Blade. Ranger's Trailblazer will help you in the jungle and is more suited to farm playstyles, whereas a Stalker's Blade is really good to help you gank and be aggressive. Your next item decision will be with your jungle enchantment, whether you want to go Warrior or Devourer. Warrior is better for more burst damage and also early game aggression, however Devourer is better for the sustained damage, especially later on into the game, and for a more farm playstyle. Having tested both of them, I can say there's not really a wrong choice here, however I do find myself leaning more towards Devourer for a few reasons. Firstly, I found that the early game power spike that Warrior gives you isn't really used too much on Rek'Sai because she doesn't exactly have the kit to be extremely aggressive in the early game, especially compared to some other junglers. When I go with that playstyle, I find that it's quite hit and miss. Sometimes it works, other times I just fall flat on my face. On the other hand, she's pretty good at powering through the jungle because she has good clear speed with her Q and also fairly good sustain when she's travelling in her tunnel. This all complements the less aggressive Devourer playstyle. In addition to this, a great thing to note about your attack speed and your Q is that it allows you to do your three thrashes faster. Not only does this make it easier to guarantee your hit a target with your three Qs before they slip away from you, but the quicker you're done with your Q animation means the quicker it starts going on cooldown and the quicker you can use it again. I find that with an attack speed build I get to use more Qs in a team fight than I would with an AD build. Attack speed also helps you generate your fury faster because all of your basic attacks generate a flat amount of fury. Doesn't matter how hard you hit, just how often. This means it will help you more reliably do extra damage with your E, and in addition to that, it will also indirectly help your sustain because you'll have more fury knocking about for you to burn off for health in your tunnel form. And the final big decision you'll have to make regarding your item build will be whether to go for Hydra or Blade of the Ruined King next. Hydra not only gives you a massive amount of AD, but the splash also synergizes extremely nicely with your Q's AoE. On the other hand, Blade of the Ruined King not only gives you the aforementioned benefits of having high attack speed, but it also gives you the utility which is something Rek'Sai sorely lacks in its active. And of course Blather and King also synergizes very nicely with the Devourer enchant if you've chosen to take it. However you don't have to build these DPS items if you don't want to and in fact if you are behind I would recommend that you don't do it and instead just go full tank after your jungle enchantment. And lastly you want to fill up the holes in your inventory with tank items. What you want to buy here will depend on how the game is going, who's fed on the enemy team, who's going to scale into late game, that kind of thing. Now I'm going to move on on how you should actually be playing Rek'Sai in the different stages of the game. Early game you'll want to do your first jungle clear and then recall for your upgraded jungle item. Rek'Sai's level 3 ganking is pretty bad unless someone is ridiculously overextended, so sticking around may not be the best choice. As far as jungle routes go, you can start pretty much wherever, but I'd always recommend that you get a leash because you do tend to fall kinda low in your first clear unless you're running a gimmicky mastery page. Once you've got that upgraded jungle item, your playstyle will shift depending whether you've gone Stalker's Blade or Ranger's Trailblazer. If you went for Stalker's Blade, you can look to force some ganks. If you went Ranger's Trailblazer, you should focus more on farming, but also keep your eyes out for the really free kills in lanes. 
Mid game, you'll want to mostly extend and expand upon your start from the early game, because Rexai's level 6 doesn't really give her any power spike as far as it goes with ganking, so you'll still rely on that Stalker's Blade and catching people off guard. Also, at this point in the game, you should finish your jungle enchantment, which will be your first significant boost in power, to so try and pick some fights where you can. Rek'Sai is a pretty good duelist as well, so try and take advantage of that. And despite me saying that her level 6 isn't really a big power spike as far as her ganking goes, you should still keep your eyes on things to see if enemy champions walk too close to your tunnel network, so you can ult onto one and catch them off guard. Late game, you'll be focusing mostly on team fights and facilitating those fights. Buying wards is crucial at this point in the game to not only set up your own plays, but also to be aware of your enemies. In team fights, how you play them will depend heavily on how you've built Rek'Sai. Devour builds tend to have higher damage at this stage of the game when you want to try and sit on the enemy squishies and destroy them. You want to be as disruptive as possible too. Tunneling near enemy carries is often enough to zone them, and even your tunnels alone provide some threat level as you have the potential to jump through them and onto the enemies. You shouldn't be afraid to hit the tanks a few times to build up some fury too, but Rek'Sai's overall lacking utility doesn't really make her the best peeler. Still, her damage on tanks can be fairly decent with some good sustained DPS and potential true damage on her E. So that about does it for my in-depth jungle Rek'Sai guide, I hope you enjoyed it. I would suggest that you would be more patient when learning this champion because she's definitely one of the more unique ones to come out to the rift. If you have a question about the guide or Rek'Sai in general, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try and answer as many as I can. As always guys, if you did like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to me for more educational league content, specifically about the new Season 5 jungle. You can find me on Facebook, on Twitter, and catch me streaming on Twitch as well. All of those things are in the description, guys. But thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in my next video.